Well, Robin and Philomena are on the way to Australia by now. Yes. Oh, my little love. I'm going to miss her so much. But, uh, you know, Robert's been lonely for her all this time. She'll have a wonderful time in Australia. Oh, you're not going to be lonely enough for one minute. I can assure you of that. I promised Robin and Philomena that I'm going to take very good care of you. You did? I did. I'm going to see you every single night. <laughs> you will? Mm-hmm. Starting tonight. Well, um, how do you know that my calendar isn't actually full? Well, I can find out soon enough. Let me see it. No. Let me see it. Aha! Just as I thought. Blank, blank, blank. Oh, dear, 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 there's not one thing in this. I am going to be one very busy man. Just because I don't have my engagements in writing doesn't mean to say that I don't have people dropping by here unexpectedly in the evening. Then we shall be here to greet them. Oh, together, that is. Ah, uh, but now I'm very curious. Just who do you expect to drop by here? Oh, I don't know. Various and sundry people. Aha. Uh -huh. Any particular man? Oh, I, I said people. What's his name? People. Take last night, for example, Felicia came around here very late. She was sort of worried about Frisco. Our new bride, rookie cop, it figures. I'm kind of worried about Frisco myself. He told Felicia that, uh... He told her that he was on a special assignment for me last night, and he wasn't at all. I'm sort of worried that, you know, he's so determined to prove himself that he'll get himself into trouble. But since he hadn't given any special assignments to Frisco. That's just as you suspected, huh? No? Yes. I had to be sure. And I gather you're disturbed about this. Hmm. I am. I've left a message for Frisco to contact me as soon as possible. Are we going to spend all of our time together concerned about Frisco Jones? I'm just concerned about the people that work for me, aren't you? Oh, yes, I'm concerned about them, but not usually until I've had my first cup of coffee in the morning. <laughs> what do you say we have breakfast? Um, well, I would love to, but I really... But you have work to go to, I understand. Yes. Dinner tonight? All right, I... Well, I'm expecting a phone call from Robin. She's going to call me from L.A. before she gets on a flight to Australia, so I'll cook for you here. Well, I'll settle for home cooking. That's great. It'll be a, a royal British feast. Now, what is a royal British feast? Everyone knows that the only good food in England is Indian or Chinese. <laughs> oh, you'll see. Just wait. Well, well, well. The amazing Miss Devane. She sleuths by day, she cooks by night. Oh, don't be too impressed. I know a lot of women that are juggling homes and careers and doing far better than me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, your, your timing's a little bit off. Well, uh, I got a message that you wanted to see me. I know, that was like four hours ago. Yeah, well, I had to finish my beat. I guess I could have gone by around lunch. Yes. Well, you know, it's all right. Come in, please. I'm very busy, so, uh, I'm going to get straight to the point. I have to ask you about your whereabouts last night. I b believe me, I'm not interested in interfering in your personal life. I just have reason to be concerned for your off-duty activities. Mm, well, why are you concerned? Did Tuffy contact you again about the poker game? Is that what you thought I was doing last night, playing poker? Frisco, Ramsey and I told you that you were to contact us if Tuffy again spoke to you about the poker game. We were going to assign a special policeman to take care of that, okay? I didn't forget my orders. Well, This is from an unknown admirer from yeah. me. Don't I get to come in? Yes, of course. Well, I'm just leaving, really. Excuse me. Uh, I don't want to interrupt in your personal life, okay? Yeah, okay. Yeah, first go. Have a nice evening. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Uh, you're early. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to interrupt. Well, I know. I just, I haven't, I'm not blessed. 
Well, you go get dressed, and I'll, I'll open the champagne. 